All right, category number 5B, Serious News Series. And the nominees are... A Sex Trafficker's Playbook, WMAQ. Chicago's Littlest Victims, WBBM. Men on the Margin, WITI. All right, and the Emmy goes to, again, there are two winners. The first is A Sex Trafficker's Playbook, WMAQ, and... Chicago's Littlest Victims, WBBM. In the six years he's prosecuted these crimes, he's handled 129 cases, and roughly half have some connection to the suburbs. I can say for certainty, it's happening in Naperville, it's happening in Oak Brook, it's happening in Lombard, it's happening in Joliet. He says victims are lured from the suburbs, and trafficking happens in the suburbs. There's demand there. When I was walking, I think my dreams were easier to accomplish. Eight years ago, a bullet not meant for Martrell Stevens ripped through his body. It has to be changed. He says that of this year. They want to go outside and play. That's what kids do, and they're getting killed because they go outside. It doesn't even make sense. I'm accepting on behalf of Marion Brooks. This is a topic that she tackles a lot. She wants to get this story out there, so thank you. I'm accepting on behalf of Brad Edwards, and instead of talking about his story, I'll just talk about Brad, because he's not here. Um, I got to help hire Brad, and uh, he came into the station and did his interview, which I don't know if it helped his case, but his tape did. And part of his tape had a story about a guy living in a trailer in a public property somewhere. And on the first track of that story, he used the word summonses. And I thought, I've never heard anyone use the word summonses in a package before. And I wasn't even sure if it was a word, but I, it's a Brad word. And uh, I think of him as a wordsmith, kind of like a uh, blacksmith creates things out of iron. Brad creates words, but uh, he does brilliant things with them and tells stories that really touch your heart, and he did a great job. <laughs> 